since there's not much information on the web and there's not many tutors covering it I'm going to start delivering some lessons on flash PHP and MySQL communication and I just wanted to show you my little diagram here that or a little illustration that will help understand the circle of communication that happens when flash sends out a request to PHP and so the file the uh, well I'll, sh I'll also show you a couple of examples of where I use this online live so you can see if this kind of thing that you might want to learn how to put into your flash applications okay so and just so you know before we uh, just explain things here this PHP file will be one PHP file these arrows are points in time and this PHP file will be the same exact file as this uh, PHP file on that side MySQL is the database and Flash is what the user sees in the browser okay so step one is uh, where the process starts is Flash is accessed by a browser whether it be Safari, Internet Explorer or Firefox it's opened in a uh, by some user in the world somewhere and your flash uh, application is displayed to the user now at that point you have the option to command flash to send out the call to PHP to get the data first thing or you can wait till after your flash intro plays or wait till some movie clip part of a timeline anywhere you want is is you if you want to wait to send the call out to PHP you have that option you don't have to send the call out right away but you can send it out right away just put it on the first frame the first timeline all by itself and make the function when it calls when the information comes back snap to frame 2 and let your flash file play like normal but what happens is the flash file will send a call to PHP or a request to PHP for information PHP says okay flash I've been waiting for you I'm a special made script just for you and I'm going to gather what you need I'm going to MySQL now and I'm gonna call and request a certain result set of data and MySQL then says okay mister PHP I hear your call I see what you want I'm gonna gather it up put it in a package and give it back to you PHP says thank you I see the package I see what's in it I'm gonna parse it and I'm going to send it back to Flash. Flash says, "Thank you, Mr. PHP. I'm going to show the information to the user now in the browser, in a cool animated Flash kind of way." And uh, it's really the whole process, and it happens in a split second. Flash makes the call. PHP makes a call. MySQL delivers. And PHP delivers back to Flash, and then that process is done. The user is then seeing the information and uh... let's see let's show you on the site on develop php i'll show you a couple of places where i use this right here where it says welcome visitor my whole header is flash and up here where it says welcome visitor uh... it changes after they log in it changes to say the user's name and a button so they can get to their control panel that's some flash magic right there and it's PHP and MySQL integration that makes that possible for me and also here in my poll the uh, where it says Adams web tutorial poll and you can see these applications by going to developphp.com but here is a flash poll that I custom made and it has PHP and MySQL functionality and it stores the users options and it makes sure that the users logged in if you're not a logged in member of my site you can't vote sucker that's how it works so that's the beginning of the uh, our whole flash PHP and MySQL coding endeavor and we're gonna start some tutorials real soon so look forward to them we'll see you guys next lesson